Okay, today we're going to learn how to connect the BL Touch to the Roomba board. Now this is a little different from other types of BL Touch connections like for the Ramps 1.4 or the MKS Gen L. So I need to show you a couple of things real quick about the BL Touch. The BL Touch uses what's known as the servo sensors on this uh, Molux connector. And as you can see, there's three colored wires on it. There's a dark wire, which in this case is brown, and that's our ground. Then we have a red wire, which is our voltage. And then we have a yellow, which is our signal. Over on the other wires that we have, we have a black and we have a white. The black is ground and the white is signal. So we need to review a couple of things on the board. First of all, we have our X-Min connector right here. We have our X-Max connector here. We have our Y-Min connector here. Then we have our Y-Max connector here. Then we have our Z-Min connector here. And then we have our Z-Max connector here. So those are the pins that we need to consider for the sensor, which is the black and white wire. So as you can see, Z-min is what we're gonna be working with. Now the next set of wires are somewhat interesting. We need to find a ground, a five volt, and the digital pin that we're going to use. So I'm gonna tell you what they are. So in the bottom row of EXP3, we're going to count over one, two wires, and that's our 5 volt connection right here. Then we have our ground to the left of it, and then we have our 5 for our digital pin. So this is digital pin 5. So in order to connect this, they appear to be out of order because we're going to start with ground but then we'll lose out on the five volts because five volts is actually at the right hand side in the video where the ground pin is. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we're gonna take some male to female connectors and we're gonna hook up red to voltage, black to ground, and we're gonna use brown on our orange or yellow wire for our signal. So to connect these, like I said a moment ago, first pin that we're gonna use is gonna be our voltage, and that's the second pin over in the bottom row. Then we're gonna do ground and then we're gonna do digital pin five. So we're all good there for our connectors. As you can see, we've now dealt with the issue of them being in a different order. Now we're gonna take the black and white wire. So black is ground and white is signal. And we're gonna go over to Zmin and we're going to connect to our signal row of pins for the white wire, which is right here. And then we have our ground which is right here, and then our voltage. So the white wire is gonna go where the signal would be on Zmin. And that's all we have to do. So the next step is to connect our USB. So we're gonna connect over here. And then we're gonna connect the other end of the computer, and you'll hear a beep. And in a moment, I'll show you in Proner Face how to test it. But before I do that, I'll show you in Marlin how to set it up. Okay, the first thing we want to do is open up Marlin bugfix 1.1.9 underscore bugfix. We want to go into the Marlin subfolder. And we want to open up boards dot h 
Inside here, we want to search on Roomba. And what we have is board underscore Roomba. So what we want to do is highlight that and then copy it. Now we're going to close out of boards.h. And we're going to press M on the keyboard and open up the marlin.ino folder or file, excuse me. Okay, first thing we want to do is select the configuration.h tab. We want to do a search on motherboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace motherboard with what we just copied. So we're going to highlight board underscore ramps underscore one four underscore EFD and paste what we copied. Next thing we want to do is do a search on BL touch. And we're going to scroll down and it's currently commented out. So we need to remove the comments to enable it. Next, we want to search on num underscore servos. And this is commented out as well. So what we want to do is we want to remove the comment as well. And then we want to change number of servos from three to one. And as you can see, there's one specified down here. If you had had three, then you would have said comma 300, comma 300 in that case. That is for the delay in milliseconds for each one of your number of servos. So next we want to select the correct board type or chipset in this case, and it's the Mega 2560, which we're good there. And then we want to make sure that we have a port selected. So we're going to select port seven and we're going to press the compile and upload button. Okay, the first thing we want to do is open up the Pronterface folder and open up the Pronterface executable. We want to connect to the board. And what we're going to type is M119 to check the status of the end stops. And as you can see, the other two are not connected, so they say triggered. But in this case, it says that the Zmin is open. So in a moment, I'll show you how to test it. Okay, we're gonna take the BL Touch, we're gonna hold it up in the air, like so, and I'm going to press the Z in the Pronterface application. Now I'm going to touch a surface Now back in Pronterface, we're going to type M119 again and press enter. And as you can see, it's triggered. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.